Hey yo, Top 5 Bass here. Here's these interesting animal moments filmed on the beach. Let's get going. Seal attacks beachgoers. A nice seal recently attacked swimmers, including a woman and a child at Clifton's Fourth Beach, causing tourists and locals alike to witness an unusual spectacle. The seal pup even came out of the water to continue its mayhem on the sand. And ain't nowhere safe from seals. Although seals are typically peaceful animals, experts have determined that this particular seal's aggression was most likely the result of a severe case of brain swelling brought on by demoic acid poisoning from red tide algae. These afflicted seals experience a loss of fear and choose to face danger head on, rather than run away. In recent months, there's been numerous similar attacks on the Cape Peninsula. Beachgoers are advised to avoid these flipped foes because it's unknown how many seals exhibit this Jekyll and Hyde personality. These seals' chances of surviving are comparable to those of a kitten in a lion's den because of the lifelong brain swelling, which makes them more likely to pick fights and run from danger. The effects of that seal bite, though, are said to be slightly worse than those of a dog bite, requiring stitches and a significant amount of antibiotics to treat the bacteria-filled chompers. Next time you're at the beach, remember to stay vigilant and keep an eye out for any unseely behavior. Next is the sea lion steals a fish. Ah, uh, what's with all these things just coming out of the ocean to mess with us? On Brown Beach in South Africa, a crafty sea lion made the decision to put his fish-stealing prowess to the test, setting off an unforgettable scene. The unaware female angler had no idea that she would soon play the lead in a scene that could have only been created by Mother Nature herself. The angler thought that day was just like any other as she reeled in a rather sizable catch, completely unaware that a whiskered bandit was waiting to strike from beneath the waves. As she dragged her prize across the sand, the sea lion saw an opportunity for a free meal and decided to take it. In a breathtaking display of agility and determination, our flippered felon chased the fish across the beach, his eyes locked on the wiggling prize. The fisherwoman, alarmed, squealing, but determined, managed to stay one step ahead of her would-be assailant. The sea lion stopped, probably weighing his options after realizing that victory was slipping through his flippers. He finally gave up and fled back to the water with a dramatic flip of his tail, leaving the fisherwoman to enjoy her well-earned victory and also probably celebrate the fact that she didn't get stitches. The amused crowd laughed and shook their heads in shock. The sea lion's antics served as a warning that nature is entirely unpredictable and that even an experienced angler might find herself in a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. Or in this case, sea lion and fish, as word of the story spread. Next, we have baby sea lion riding a turtle. Oh, that just sounds actually really cute. An adorable scene played on the Galapagos Islands on a sunny day, leaving onlookers laughing with delight. A young sea lion lay curled up next to a turtle, taking a cozy nap as the soft waves lapped at the shore. Suddenly, the curious pup secured its position for a ride by starting to crawl onto the turtle's sturdy shell. The turtle began to move toward the water while carrying the young sea lion, perhaps sensing the excitement of its new companion, or terrified of the actual animal. As the turtle ambled towards the water, offering its freeloading companion an impromptu taxi service, onlookers of this endearing spectacle couldn't help but laugh out loud. The sight of this cute couple surprised everyone and provided a unique glimpse into the amusing interactions between various species in the wild. The baby sea lion appeared to be bored with excitement as the turtle got closer to the water. Just before reaching the water, the passenger dismounted from its stallion with a contented wiggle. The two unlikely friends then went their separate ways, setting off into the vast ocean. A testament to the joy and surprise that the natural world never tires of bringing is the spectator's laugh, which can still be heard echoing along the beach. All you can say is, yeehaw, partner. Up next is the Bay of Pigs. A little-known beach in Big Major K in the Bahamas where pigs swim alongside people is hogging the spotlight, literally, and raking in the cash. Welcome to Pig Beach, where tourists can't help but squeal with delight as they watch the local pigs doggy paddle, or should we say piggy paddle, through the clear waters. Although it's unknown how these pigs first trotted into this idyllic island, one thing is for certain. They've settled there and have made it their home. Frequently, they snorkel for truffles in the shallows or sunbathe on Pig Beach. It's pretty cute to see their snouts breaking the surface in search of a tasty treat. Don't worry if you're worried that the pigs are going to get all the attention, though. These friendly pigs are more than willing to split the spotlight and the sunscreen. They make excellent swimming partners, always willing to lend a hand if someone's having trouble with their backstroke or doggy paddle. So if you want to spend an unforgettable beach vacation, head to the Bahamas and swim in Pig Beach's pig-infested waters. Just keep in mind to secure your lunch, as these hospitable pigs have been known to attempt to piggyback on a free meal. They didn't get those beach bodies by skipping snacks after all. 
Up next is Hang Ten Cat. The tropical paradise of Hawaii is where this feline discovered its passion for surfing. The little furball was shy and hid under the sheets when it was first introduced to its owners. However, Hokale soon showed its true colors by following its owners everywhere, including the shower. Cat's owners made the decision to bring their water-loving pet to the beach in the hopes that it would appreciate it as much as they did. They located a serene area and allowed Hakulai to explore the sand, which probably felt like the biggest litter box in the world. They watched in awe as the cat dove into the water like a fish does. Well, you know, in the water. So they decided to put the cat on a surfboard. The cat enjoyed the ride wide while clinging on for dear life, and as time went on, it grew more at ease on the board. Eventually, it began riding the surfboard like a seasoned pro, occasionally becoming a little cocky in the process. This unloving cat who enjoys surfing discovered his zen in the sea, dozing off in between waves and soaking up them rays. Okale's owners would give it a freshwater shower to remove the salt and completely dry it off after an hour of surfing. With their water-loving fur child, who also shared their love of the beach, the family was now complete. In the warm waters of Hawaii, this cat had discovered its perfect paradise. They couldn't be happier. Divers stung by Portuguese man o' war. Ugh. On a sunny day over in 2022, two friends set out on an epic spearfishing adventure near Fort Lauderdale. They were pretty unaware that they were about to come into contact with a fascinating but potentially dangerous sea creature. One of the waves brought with it a Portuguese man of war, a species renowned for its beauty and its poisonous tentacles. Because they're full of powerful toxins, these tentacles can seriously hurt people who don't know what's coming. Before experiencing an abrupt severe pain in his neck, the unaware diver had no idea what was about to happen. The tentacles of the sea creature wrapped around him in an uncomfortable way. It had reached his lips, cheeks, and his mask. Fortunately, he realized what was happening and cried out to his diving buddy. His quick-witted companion bravely leapt in, grabbing the aquatic attacker from his friend's face. The man of war was still looming in the distance as the divers headed straight for the shore. Thankfully, paramedics were soon on hand to welcome them with a cooling vinegar spray, temporarily relieving the stinging pain. Now, this terrifying story should serve as a warning to never dive alone and to always be ready for the unexpected, particularly when diving with fascinating but dangerous species like the Portuguese man of war. As for the pain of that sting, Ugh. Sea Turtle Babies Escape to the Ocean Watching sea turtle babies is always a very difficult time for most people. January 17, 2013, a heartwarming and action-packed adventure took place on the sleepy shores of Cozumel, Mexico. The show's lead actors? None other than 82 adorable baby sea turtles. They were ready to make their grand entrance in the Caribbean Sea. Assisting them in this daring escapade were a group of dedicated volunteers armed with hands, determination, and an irresistible urge to coo with the cuteness of these tiny reptilian heroes. Because of the nest Steve's sides, the small protagonists were faced with an impossible task, climbing the tall sand walls to reach their goal. Enter the turtle-loving volunteers who immediately came up with a crafty scheme. Passageway would be dug out of one end of the sand fortress so that young turtles could crawl along it, much like an escape tunnel from a prison break involving fluffy, shell-covered prisoners. The path was finally made clear, and the young sea turtles set off on their epic journey. As they made their way towards the ocean, the volunteers watched in awe. The scene that followed was one of triumph and perseverance, as the baby sea turtles, against all odds, reached the ocean and began their new lives beneath the waves. When the volunteers waved goodbye to their scaly offspring, they couldn't help but feel a mixture of pride and sweet sadness. If that doesn't make you happy, you might just be too turtly to fit in with the turtle club. The Friendly Octopus Teacher Off the coast of South Africa, in the icy, enigmatic depths of the Atlantic Ocean, a man and an octopus developed a special and endearing bond. South African filmmaker and naturalist Craig Foster was enthralled by a female octopus that lived in the kelp forest. Foster committed himself to visiting this fascinating creature every day for an entire year. This meant plunging into the chilly waters to record and comprehend her life every day. The octopus began to recognize Foster as a familiar presence as the days progressed into months, and a remarkable bond formed between the two. As they shared moments of trust and curiosity, their relationship transcended the limitations of their respective species. The octopus showed extraordinary intelligence and adaptability, sharing with Foster the mysteries of her underwater world. His eight-armed teacher taught him a lot about life, and he learned to appreciate the beauty of the ocean and how important it is to protect its fragile ecosystems. Documentary filmmakers were drawn to this unusual and touching friendship, and saw the potential to make a masterpiece through their lens. 
Then came the award-winning Netflix documentary, My Octopus Teacher, which was the outcome. The movie serves as a reminder of the profound influence nature can have on our lives and the significance of encouraging kindness and respect for all living things. Up next is Stingray Beach. There's a beach on the Mexican land of Cozumel where other things than the sand can tickle your toes. Welcome to Stingray Beach, where the inhabitants are laid back, cordial, and fond of belly rubs. Here, tourists have the exceptional chance to interact closely with the endearing stingrays that call the island home. The curious humans who have come to experience their underwater world mingle with these graceful creatures as they float through the clear waters. Don't be surprised if a friendly stingray greets you by brushing up against your legs as you wade into the shallow water. Just keep in mind that all they want is a tasty treat or a gentle pat. You can fulfill your desire to become a marine biologist at Stingray Beach by learning all there is to know about these fascinating animals. Did you know that the stingrays you encounter here are probably southern stingrays, which are renowned for their amicable personalities and voracious appetites for delectable squid snacks? You'll have the chance to feed them, and hopefully one of them will fly in for a sneaky kiss. Just remember to pucker up there. So if you want a vacation with a hint of the unusual, explore Stingray Beach's wacky world. Who wouldn't want to boast about befriending some of the ocean's most graceful inhabitants, after all? Then Stingray Beach is the place for you. Villagers Save Pink Dolphin Beachgoers in Koh Sukhan, southern Thailand, were startled to see a pink bottlenose dolphin struggling in the shallow water on a sunny day. The dolphin appeared to have taken a wrong turn and ended up beached on the shore in November of 2020. A local man who was out for a stroll with his family couldn't help but notice the odd circumstance. Two nearby dolphins were swimming erratically, as if beckoning their pink friend to join them on their oceanic explorations. The man's younger brother, eager to help, dashed toward the stranded dolphin and tried pushing it back into the water. Sadly, he soon learned that it was not an easy task, because dolphins are far heavier than they actually appear. When he noticed the struggle, the older brother hastened over to offer assistance. The two brothers worked together to lift the large dolphin into deeper water. Pink Dolphin made a few strong tail flaps that resembled a cheers mate before swimming back to its pod. As the onlookers enjoyed a few chuckles, they couldn't help but appreciate the feel-good moments unfolding on the beach that day. Cassowary Chases Woman Now that is actually terrifying. Unaware that a surprise visitor was hiding in the bushes, a woman was taking a leisurely video of the picturesque beach while she was having a good time. Then a rustling sound piqued her interest, and when she got close to the bush, she saw an incredible sight. A cassowary. The woman instinctively retreated as the large, flightless bird emerged, because she was aware that cassowaries were not only uncommon, but also very dangerous. Unimpressed by the camera, the bird gave it a peck as if to request that the paparazzi stay away. When he saw how upset the woman was, a nearby man made a feeble attempt to kind of, you know, save the day. He did very little, though. He almost made a feeble attempt to divert the feathered threat with nothing more than being kind of, well, there. Worked for a moment as the bird did divert interest. The cassowary, however, charged back at the woman like it was a scene from a low-budget horror film, determined to reclaim its moment in the spotlight. She kept stepping back, her heart racing, wishing she had watched more of those wildlife documentaries. Thankfully, the cassowary eventually appeared to be tired of the pursuit and did lose interest, sauntering off as if nothing had happened. Relieved but still trembling, the woman couldn't help but laugh at her unexpected run-in with one of nature's more eccentric characters. Up next is the Ocean Swimming Kitten. Mike couldn't help but feel proud as his gray tabby kitten, Gracie, briefly followed him into the water on a sunny beach day. On St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands, where Mike was helping his uncle around the house, their story began. He found a tiny five-week-old kitten alone after hearing tiny mews coming from inside a wall. Mike took Gracie in without thinking twice and soon realized that she wasn't your typical cat. Mike gently encouraged her and marveled at how bravely Gracie swam alongside him. They had an unbreakable bond because Gracie had always desired Mike's company, even from the moment they first met. Mike wanted to make sure his feline friend could appreciate the outdoors as much as he did, especially since he lived on an island and was very active. She would sprint next to him on the smooth sand when he took her to the beach frequently, embracing her newly discovered love for the water. When they weren't splashing in the waves, Gracie would happily climb trees and play with her favorite toy, a soft frisbee that sent her into fits of excitement. Gracie would enjoy a warm bath and a gentle rubdown from her human companion after each adventure, just soaking up the love. Mike would frequently tell their story, sharing the delight of their special and adventurous life together. Aww, it's just cute. Up next is Tiger Beach. 
Imagine walking along the beach and walking into 15 tigers. The majestic tigers owned by Sheikha Fatima bin Rashid Al Maktoum truly captivated us with their beauty and playful nature. With 15 tigers ranging in age from 3 to 12, these impressive animals are amazing to see. Romeo, Ben, Uno, and Snow, the Sheikah's four young tigers, are all three years old and descended from the same litter. It's interesting to know that while Uno and Snow are white and Ben and Romeo are golden, they're all males. Because of a naturally occurring recessive gene that affects their pigmentation, leucism, a distinctive white who, occurs in them. Blue eyes are typical for white tigers. Under the expert training, enrichment, and care of the Sheikah specialized team, these four young tigers lead extraordinary lives. They enjoy having the freedom to chase each other while exercising regularly on the property grounds. They undoubtedly enjoy their daily excursions to the beach for swimming and playtime. The most athletic of the four, Uno, is lean, quick, and has a remarkable vertical leap. Snow enjoys playing rough with their brothers, despite having recently recovered from an eye injury that they sustained in the past during rough play as a cub. Romeo and Ben, the tigers got bigger and stronger as they age, and adult male tigers can weigh up to 300 kilos. While Romeo displays a calm and composed character, Ben is swifter and far more active. These remarkable tigers lead extraordinary lives, and their vigor and joy are genuinely motivating. Who would have imagined that these magnificent animals would enjoy the day at the beach so much? Oh, by the way, the beach is private, so you're not going to accidentally walk into them. Jaguar Hunt Sea Turtle Ababado, which is Spanish for a rival, the renowned sea turtle sanctuary is where an extraordinary spectacle takes place on a select number of special nights. To lay their eggs, tens of thousands of olive ridley sea turtles come ashore. There is more though. Elusive big cats known as jaguars, which at all costs are meant to stay away from people, emerge from the forest to prey on these sea turtles. A filmmaker places trap cameras all over the region in an effort to capture this amazing predator-prey relationship and hopes to see these majestic felines in action. The video they record is astounding. Introducing Amanda, the first jaguar to ever be photographed devouring a turtle. To better understand this phenomenon, the filmmaker teams up with a local biologist named Luis Ferenska, who has been studying the relationship between sea turtles and jaguars. Their camera traps show two different male pumas visiting the same sea turtle carcass, which is even more peculiar. It's a sound to consider that a jaguar and two pumas each consumed one sea turtle in less than 12 hours. The legendary figures who reside there only add to the mystique of this extraordinary place. This type of behavior isn't normal, according to Luis. But then again, neither is a stretch of beach. And all I can think of is how tough that meal must be. Next up is Beach Bum Cows. On the picturesque island of Zanzibar, in a charming little place called Pai, a peculiar phenomenon catches the eyes of many visitors. Here, Zanzibar Zebu cattle, the magnificent humpback cattle that resemble camels, are often seen strolling leisurely along the fine white sand beaches in this area. The way these cows are basking in the sun and taking in the salty breeze makes it seem as though they're always on vacation. Even stranger, it appears that neither a herder nor owner is in charge of these cows, who adore the beach. With a sense of independence, they amble through the village's streets, pausing occasionally to pick grassy patches for a snack. Similar to a food connoisseur seeking the most, these cattle have a knack for finding the most beautiful places to graze where they can eat. These Zanzibar Zebu cattle have developed into quite the tourist draw, as one might expect. Visitors swarm to Pai for more than just its picturesque landscape. They also come to see these cows in their natural habitat. Seems as if they've figured out the key to happiness and are now encouraging people to follow in their own footsteps. On the island, these carefree cows have undoubtedly established a reputation for themselves. Work is optional, and strolls along the beach are required in this bovine utopia they've created in Pai. Some people even assert that these cattle have managed to transcend the limitations of their species and have evolved into the pinnacle of leisure and relaxation. As a result, be on the lookout for these carefree beach-loving cattle, if you ever find yourself in Zanzibar, at least. Blackpool Beach Donkeys Unexpected sunbathers in the bustling seaside town of Blackpool have won the hearts and imaginations of both visitors and residents alike. These aren't your typical beachgoers. In fact, they have four legs or are furry and enjoy taking young people for rides along the shore. Yes, we're referring to the storied Blackpool Beach donkeys. These hard-working and enjoyable creatures have come to represent the ideal British seaside vacation. They make memories that will last a lifetime as they trot along the sandy shores. Despite their serious work ethic, though, these donkeys also do have a playful side. They spend their free time relaxing and enjoying the occasional ice cream cone that a distracted tourist leaves in the sand. People have seen them taking leisurely walks along the promenade and stopping occasionally to pose for pictures with starstruck fans. 
Some people think that these beach donkeys are actually covert comedians who were sent to Blackpool to provide comic relief and spread laughter among the sun-seeking crowds because of the laid-back attitude and undeniable charm. These cute characters have found a way to add humor and carefree fun to the beach, which makes Blackpool an even better place to visit. The highlight of your trip will undoubtedly be taking a selfie with these endearing equine celebrities the next time you're there. See you all next time!